OK Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, it's everything is ready. They're looking at uh, YouTube is ready and everything is okay. Okay. So, I wanted to hello everyone. Hello, thank you. So, um, I wanted to talk a bit uh, first about my uh, my background to uh, for for everyone to understand uh, why I love this, why I love do doing this, and everything. I used to be an artist, a three D artist, not a programmer, and I really like to do like three D stuff and 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 a lot of a lot of things, right? But sometimes there were there were not enough tools or tooling system for me as an artist to to be able to create easily easily uh, for video games and I started to investigate further how to make those uh, those programs for me to make it easy to integrate like 3D models for, for the web, for Unity, for, for different platforms and I fell in love with Unity, how it works and how it, it, it makes a lot of things, right? I know a lot of people, well a lot of you like Blender and Blender and Unity can work together pretty well. So um, today I want to I wanted to show you uh, after a few a few months of, of getting this uh, working, we 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 are trying to make a tooling system for Unity for everyone to be able to create their own uh, BRM characters or traits for their own characters, and I will show you why these tools are important because uh, most of the time some uh, we think that I don't know. As, as a programmer, I've noticed that you get to know what's happening behind, but uh, as an artist, since since I didn't have that knowledge, it's great when a, a programmer comes and, and tells you, hey, just do this, add these numbers, and you will have it everything ready. So today I will be showing you uh, what's the information that, that goes behind uh, the Character Studio, how it fetches it, and how uh, how we will be able to approach it with, with Unity. Um, so, uh, the idea of, let me open it up here. Okay. So, uh, this is what's behind the character creator. Like in, I wanted, I want to show you this because it's something that for me, it's very complicated as an artist to understand what is happening behind. Uh, but all this information uh, refers to some some place in the web or some place in your folder or some place in 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 the web tree where the information is required to be right. And also, what uh, different types of information that will help you uh, to make the model even better. Uh, so let's take for example. It will take the name of the of the assets you're working on. For example, in this is the drop hunter, uh, the thumbnail it's gonna grab for the character creator, uh, the format that will be used, the required traits. So, uh, as you may see right now, this information might seem like very complex, and we're not able to like really understand. And if you notice, it's very very long. It's like uh, over uh, what is it? Five thousand lines of code. Or, or of JSON information. So, uh, to easily understand it, we've made uh, the Unity application so we can easily just integrate this and automatically generate all this content. And it's, it's one of the greatest things because instead of just going manually and trying to figure out what, uh, what, what, every words of this do and everything, we can just simply just come on here, import the 3D model. In this case, this was imported. So let me show you real quick. So 
So this was a model made from the R team, but we still require all, the info all this information to be made, right? So just imagine that you come here into Unity, you have to export it, uh, and then you have to go one by one. No? You have to export each of these traits. You have to say, okay, I'm gonna export this, so I'm gonna have to remove everything else. Just not secondary. But, well, of course you have to unpack first. Pack. Then you would go here and would move this, and then you will remove uh, everything else. And this is our first PRM. So we would just go here, and then just go BRM export and just set it the number, the, the information that we require and everything. And this will just give you uh, the BRM file as, 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 as it is, right? Just uh, of the socks in this case. So let's just call it socks. And let's, let's just set it there. Uh, now, <laughs> notice all the time that it took me. I mean, it's only one. But on, notice how much time it, it took me just to export a single one. And in my case, I had to export like all of this one by one, go uh, single by single and export it one by one, right? So now let me show you. This is what is required to be at the end, right? Um, so in the fit, we have these ones already exported. Uh, so I believe it's in accessories. And it's, all, it's, it's I think, well, the idea is, is this one. I Right now, I exported only one of these. And just imagine how much time it would take for you to export it one by one and create uh, for each of, of each of these models um, these icons that will be useful for for the character creator later so instead of doing that you can just add a component here in, in unity that it's the bm helper and then for example in this case it will be the drop hunter the id um, Oh, I mean, sorry, it's sorry, it's multi-exporter. You will see this one in a bit. And also, I want to note out that this is still a work in progress since we've like created a lot of stuff that uh, has been changing the project constantly. So some things are still missing, but we'll be working towards that in the future to make it as easy as possible. So and also a rate me file and everything will be out there. Uh, but yeah, notice that we right now may have here like where it's gonna get exported, the folder name, we can call it a uh, drop counter. The camera that will be taking the screenshots of the icons, of every single icon. So I will grab this, uh, this camera. Let me just lock it. the icons width and height, um, the cooling layer, default cooling layer, and, and if you want to zoom the, the icons. So first of all, we have to set up the childs. Right now, uh, all the all the children won't have like anything information. That's the BRM helper for. So when we click this, now we will be, we, we will be able to set up one by one if we require like to set up additional information or is the name of this one will be sweater and it will be on the collection chest this was made uh, because of naming traits but this can be also manually set um, the cooling layer the cooling layer means uh, that right now if you were like a jacket the cooling layer will be on number one and if you were something on top of the jacket you could place it on number two. What this, is to, what this is going to do is that everything that is below this layer will be removed so it's not uh, generating like a collision, uh, a double collision uh, uh, for the meshes, sorry. And here the distance of how much, uh, well, it, this can be a bit technical, but I will, I will later then 
place information on how this this works but basically this is how far the top mesh will remove the the inner meshes right so if, if you place like 0 0.03 it means it's 0, 0.0 uh, centimeters that will be checking for the below faces to remove so it goes for for each one of these and whenever it's ready you just have to click export and it will automatically generate every single uh, model for, for you instead of going one by one. So let's just go to desktop. And the name of the folder will be Drop Hunter. I will call it just for you to see Drop Hunter Test Export uh, on desktop. Notice it, it will start all the process. And let me see if I can open it like this too. Okay. Here, notice this is the new folder, Drop Hunter Test. It went one by one, taking a screenshot for each of the assets. It exported one, also a, every single asset for itself and also generated a manifest that includes all the information for each of, of, of these assets. Now, this is what I was trying to like mention before. This is something that will help a lot in, in reducing timings and it's still a work in progress. But the idea behind here is that you can uh, you just you will just be able to export your own 3D models and name it uh, however you want and make it uh, and well and be able to use it for the web for your for your own even character creator. Um, so let me show you something something else. Um, sorry, it's like. In the case of any other, like, oops. Okay, so something I wanted to talk about, it's about the, the cooling system that I was uh, telling you before in, in this part. It's like uh, what's in the cooling distance and cool out distance, and that is actually, it means that as you may notice, some some of the parts of the of the meshes are that are just below. I will just go one by one by removing it. Oops! 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 Okay. Okay. So in my case, for example, this will be the layer zero, this will be the layer one, and this will be the layer two. What will happen is that it will uh, remove the inner faces of, of below of each of, of these meshes. And this is the distance that will take from outside. For it. It's gonna uh, draw a ray cast, in this case, from outer to this one. And if it collides from anything outside, uh, that's the kind of outer distance. And oops, let me show you over here. Um, let me try to one second. Seven second. trying to place it like somewhere that it's viewable and also some place that it's also viewable here. Uh, in this case I'm just gonna show it where where it where it's actually saving the data. 
So all of this has a distance of 0 0.03. I will just uh, try to break it so you can see how far it can go. So let's just go to the body part. And in the cooling distance, I will just uh, go to even further in and out. Now, the idea is, of course, that we, we set up this inside of Unity, but uh, for now, I, I just want to show you uh, what happens when, when we do this. So let's go again. If it's the male. Okay, if it, if it's the female. I will go once again. One second. So uh, let, let me see if it actually do it this. Uh, I'm not sure if it's if it's able to be seen. But the thing I wanted to show you is that it it will actually take the the collision even further away. Uh, but it seems it's not like it's happening right now. I think I'm fetching it from another place. Yeah, it seems like it's... It's not cropping it far further away. Okay, let me try on the chest. Oh, okay, I, I think I remember, I, I, I know what happened. The thing is that uh, we are fetching the information from uh, from local storage. Let me just remove it so it can be refreshed. It's supposed to go even wider, but no, it's not working right now. No, it's it's not being removed. Oh well. Oh well. Um, but yeah, basically the idea is for you to be able to 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 add your own content to remove anything that. Uh, that it's, sorry, uh, to edit the information of how far it can go, of how, or how, sorry, how, uh, how far the raycast can go. And 
to also be able to set the textures and everything for the for the character. And I know it's it might sound a bit um, uh, complex right now the the idea, but we 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 are trying to make this to work for you to to be able to make a tool for you to be as easy as possible. Just drag and drop into Unity and export for the web. I know it's still on a very early stage, the, the tooling for this, but I'm not sure. I, I, I really wish to to hear if, if you have like any question on on what I've done so far or or if you if you want to know anything additional. Yes. Uh, first question they are asking is that uh, which platform you are using now? Is it Unity or Thought or something else where you are teaching all these changes? Uh, excuse me, what was that? Where are the... the what? Uh, so they are asking which platform you are using right now to make these changes in the Bowers characters. Like you are tweaking some changes, right? You are coding, you are whatever. Is it Unity? Is it uh, Thought or is it something else? Ah yeah, to, to make any any changes, I'm well the changes are are made inside of Unity and when they are exported, they are exported to this manifest file. And uh, this manifest file is what we are uploading to, to, to the character studio. The character studio reads this manifest and with that information of that manifest it creates everything. So right that was right now it was not uh, wor uh, working because um, it was fetching uh, the manifest from the local storage. It was not fetching the new one that I just added. So that, that is why I was having a bit of trouble. But yeah, everything, it's being fetched from, from there. In, and you, you can see here, for example, I'm gonna show you where all the information is. So it's character assets. So um, all the information is grabbed from here. The textures, Time uh, of, of, of each of element and of course each of the models and the icons are here. So yeah, the idea is to create this as easy as possible because once you give the manifest to the character creator, it will grab all the data that is inside here and place it for for it to work. I don't know if that that was the question. Oh, that's, that's the greatest part because actually there's no limit at all because since you're fetching the information from the manifest, I'm going to show you right now here's the ID zero for the drop counter, but if I close it down, you will see the ID one for the neurohacker. And then I can just go and add even more, right? Like a new one here and it will have its custom information that I will export from Unity. And there will be a new one here that also will be exported from Unity and, and so on. The idea is just to fetch it, this information. And oh, there's also something that I want to, to show you here. Uh, how it's actually getting the initial information, it's with random traits and initial uh, and required traits. This means that the body and the eyes traits are required. They are not like removable. And you will notice that when you are like here, uh, and let me see if it was if it has any check how how since it is a required trait the body you will notice I don't have this option to remove uh, to remove that part of the body so I can go here and click remove but I cannot go on on the eyes and set remove but that's defined in the manifest JSON notice that nothing else it's uh, the information is grabbed from there and applied to the character creator and that's a great thing because it's not just bound to to something very hard coded inside, but everything is uh, modifiable. Also, the icons here uh, are are taken from here thumbnail. Uh, sorry, this is the thumbnail for for the character. But uh, let's see the the icon gradient is over here. This information is is applied here because this is the trait type head. Uh, the type of mesh, the, the icon where it is, which is, is this one, 
and the camera target is what will happen when you click. So when you click, the camera target defines where it will go. You see this? And all, all of this information, it's not like programmed, like hard coded, but just define it inside the, the manifest so anyone can actually make their own, their own doing. Uh, for for now, well, of, uh, I the, since since the project is open source and everything, it's like uh, they can do that, and the idea is to have the tools to to be able to to create it. But yeah, anything uh, if you grab the project and and set it locally, uh, just you can actually upload your own 3D models. Uh, I'm still we well, I'm still we still have to check with. Um, with the team, how far they want to go inside uh, uh, this character creator because this is part of um, part of Webiverse. But uh, the idea is that you can also create uh, your your own, right? So, uh, in 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 the case, of, uh huh. Yeah, sure. Go on. Now, I was going to tell you that in the case of this one, of course, we are going to have like certain amount of of. Of, of characters that, that are made for, for a platform, but that doesn't mean that we're, um, we're, uh, we're limiting this to only ourselves, right? That's why we are making the, the code open source. And so anyone can make their, their own like project so they can upload their own characters. Okay, that's a, that's actually a, a very good question. Uh, right now, uh, the plan it's it's uh, for this one it's uh, it's still a work in progress. But the idea is to eventually get there to for everyone to be able to upload their own content. Uh, this is uh, and well, this is a work in progress. And the way to do it will be just as uh, to be a, if if you can export it as a BRM file inside of Unity as a BRM one file. Then you're ready, ready to go. So, let's say for example, you create a model from Blender, you import it from to Unity, and try to export it from Unity as a BRM one file. If you manage to export that as a BRM one file, you will be like ready to go for for creating your own character. That the idea is to be as simple as that. Uh, to make it more attract, uh, to make the character creator more attractive than anything else, uh, that's it. The question is, what new addition will be there in Character Studio? Ah, okay. There are like a lot of new ideas to to be working on. Uh, one of those is well, there are optimization ideas to make the, for example, right now whenever you export any 3D model, uh, the it, it automatically creates an, an atlas uh, to just have a, a single draw call. Uh, let me see if I have one exported here so I can show you real quick. Um, it's on, let me see if it exported models. Okay, let me show you. 
So if you come on here and see, you will notice that uh, it only uses a single texture. Sorry, I, let, let me see if I can extract the trim also you can see it. Uh, materials. is 26 okay, when you export you are well we are creating this uh this atlas from all the information one of the things that we are going to be working in the future for for updates and everything is to be selective on how how big they will be like for example right now everything takes the same amount of space uh, it's already very optimized for, for any video game because it's only one draw call and one draw call means it, it just requires one material uh, to display. In the case of this one, you required uh, every single different like materials. Uh, but the next thing that we will be doing is to make this even like more, more optimized and more quality by uh, giving different size of heights, sorry, size of uh, width and height. Uh, for example, the body should be higher than the than the length of the eyes, and the clothes should be like medium size. So, w one of the things that we'll be working in the future will be this one. Also, there's another feature that we want to add. It's that uh, you can be uh, to be able to add your own spring bones to the character. Uh, so you know, BRM supports something called BRM uh, spring bones. Uh, for example, you can place a spring bone here, so whenever your character moves around, uh, the ponytail will also be like jumping around. So that's uh, we still don't support these um, uh, uh, spring bones, but that's something we will be working on in the future. And 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 the idea is that you can just add like a totally different uh, skeleton for for your mesh. And it will just create uh, will be updated accordingly, and so you are not bound to to always have the same exactly skeleton, and and and, and that's about it. I think so. I don't know if you have like any other uh, question, and if that actually is answered the question of where we're going right now. All right, no problem. I hope you liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining. We will see you tomorrow. Same time. Stay tuned.